Hello, I am Chai Kim, an associate engineer at the Devastay R&D Center. We are the company that, are respons that is responsible for installation and maintenance of OpenStack services. Uh, we have titled today's presentation Beyond B3G RC powered by Lars Manage Model. Uh, this is a contents for today's presentation. I'll explain what is what Bitrix is and its limitations, provide the basic knowledge needed to understand our service, and discuss our service utilizing LLM and REC, uh, show actual demo images, and talk about our future direction. Uh, Bitrix is OpenStack's root cause analysis service, RCA. RCA is the process of discovering the root causes of problems in order to identify a appropriate solution. It is designed to organize, analyze, and expand open the alarms and events. Also, it provides insight into the root causes of problems, often deducing their existence before they are directly detected. In this slide, I will briefly explain the structure of Bitrich. For RCA, Bitrich is composed of data sources, a graph based on the data sources, an, an evaluator for problem detection and a notifier to alert about issues. First, data sources. <clears throat> Typical data sources include resource data and alarm data. Resource data is provided by OpenStack services such as Nova's host, instance John, Cinder's volume, and neutral networks and ports. Alarm data is generated based on metrics collected from monitoring tools like Prometheus. Actually, a uh, data source like such as Kubernetes can be added in the form of drivers. Second graph, uh, each collected data, data source and the correlations between them are represented as a multi-directional graph. Uh, by exploring the graph using depth first search and breadth first search methods, it is possible to determine how far the issues from a specific data source extend. Uh, Third, evaluator analyzes the graph to detect issues and take actions defined in a template. Lastly, notifier alerts external systems about alarms and status changes caused by errors that are identified through the graph and evaluator, but not directly monitored. Uh, for example, if a switch error prevents access to a NOVA and NOVA itself cannot detect it, uh, detect the issue, the notifier must directly inform the affected parties such as NOVA about the problem. However, B3G has some limitations. First, because the resource data from OpenStack services is limited, it is difficult to clearly understand the relationships with and among resources that are not provided, such as those at lower levels. As a result, the error cases that can be identified are also limited and it becomes difficult to clearly determine the root cause. Uh, in the case of test 5, in instance shown in the image, which is an error, sorry, which is an error state, <coughs> there was an issue during creation because it couldn't find the security group to connect to. However, since b 3 does not handle security group resources, uh, directly, it's, it's difficult to determine the cause with the information provided by b 3 alone. Although b 3 provides a way to add re new resources, the method of adding a transformer for each new resource to define its relationship with others and how it should be represented as a graph is not efficient. Second, dealing with a variety of error cases is challenging since users must predefine templates for all errors. The template specify actions like triggering alarms or changing the status of data sources, identifies which data sources the actions apply to, and includes conditions that define when the actions can be executed. In the scenario shown on the left image, the template specifies what actions to take once the conditions for an alarm are met. In this way, templates must be predefined for all error cases. Uh, this can be particularly problematic for users who are not familiar with the it cause and examples of issues. For example, in the right image, uh, even if an instance's status is error, if there is no template defined for monitoring data or alarms based on this status, tracking and analyzing the problem situation does not occur. Third, 
the information available on the dashboard is limited. Users cannot see the relations type that defines the correlations between nodes in the dashboard topology or entity graph. Uh, especially in the case of topology, uh, it only represents resource information only from NOVA. In today's presentation, we will introduce some novel approach for RCA using large length model and reg uh, <coughs> to address these limitations of it Before we move on, I will clarify a few things to make it easier for you to understand our service. Uh, first, what is large length model? I believe many of you are already familiar with this. Large language models like GPT, Alpaca, Llama, Gemini, and so on are advanced AI tools that process and generate human-like text based on training received from vast amounts of data. These models are capable of understanding context, inferring meaning, and solving complex problems which are critical in technical domains such as cloud infrastructure, infrastructure management. Then, why large language models are useful for RCA? First, complex data interpretation. OpenStack generates a large volume of intricate data about its resources and services. LLMs can process this complex data, understand the relationships and dependencies, and provide insights that are not immediately apparent to human operators. Second, predictive analysis. By analyzing historical data, LLMs can predict potential failures before they occur. This approach allows for proactive management of OpenStack resources, reducing downtime and improving system reliability. Third, automated error diagnosis. Uh, LLMs enable automatic detection of errors by analyzing error logs and other relevant data without human intervention. This automated process allows large language models to quickly identify and understand pattern, unusual patterns and mistakes, significantly reducing the need for manual review and expertise in OpenStack environments. Lastly, decision support through enhanced reporting. With the capability to generate detailed reports and recommendations, LLMs assist decision makers in understanding the root causes and potential impacts of issues. This enables more informed decision making process. Uh, we use LLM, but we also apply the REG in our RCA service. For those unfamiliar with REG, it stands for Retriever Augmented Generation an advanced AI technique that enhances language models by integrating external knowledge database during the generation process. As the model generates text, it simultaneously retrieves relevant information and augments its output with relevant information from a database, which it uses to inform and enhance its response. This is an overview of our REC-based methodology for RCA. Currently, we are using tracing tools like Jager to define and build graphs representing the relationships among OpenStack services. Initially, we create a data set based on error cases to fine tune the large length model. Uh, so, from the left, when an error occurs, want the entire graph including the error node, <coughs> information about the error node, and similar error cases are fed to fine-tune the large language model. During this process, we also tune the prompts to enable real experts to respond. Through this, we obtain the cause and solutions of the error via the augmented output. I think we can summarize three advantages of our approach compared to traditional RCA using Bitrich. In terms of data utilization, traditional RCA relies on predefined rules and local data. However, REC enhanced RCA dynamically integrates external data and historical insights. Uh, with respect to accuracy, uh, traditional RCA may be constrained by the limited data and static rules. However, our method enhances accuracy by using more comprehensive and relevant data. <coughs> Lastly, in terms of Proactive capabilities, traditional RCA, typically reactive based on non-issues and data. 
However, our method proactively identifies potential failures and suggests preventive measures. In this section, I will show you the results of demonstration using an actual error. Uh, of course, after the presentation, we will demonstrate various error cases using a dashboard. Currently, the number of volumes that can be created in a project is 10, limited to 10, and the number of volumes currently in use is also 10. Therefore, an error occurs because it attempts to create more volume than are allowed in a project. In this dashboard, I will, uh, if, you search, in this, if you search for quota-related errors, an error log will appear in the second section. And you can see the entire graph containing the error both in Mail4j and the dashboard. When you click the No, you can see the various related details in the right image. <clears throat> Actually, you can obtain the cause and solutions for the errors through the large selection model. In the Analyze Results section, Uh, actually, after resolving the error according to the provide solutions, pressing the resolve error button will display a message confirming the error has been resolved. And you can see the graph after the error resolution. However, if the error has not been resolved, a message will appear prompting you to check the solution steps again. This is our future direction. First, by incorporating orchestration tools like Kubernetes and monitoring tools like Prometheus, we enhance our services' ability to effectively manage resources across a broader range of cloud environments and various platforms. Second, we will continue to improve the performance of our large language model by consistently, consistently collecting data sets, data sets from fiber sources and using them for fine tuning and prompt tuning. This ongoing enhancement process will better equip our large language models to handle and analyze intricate data, thereby boosting predictive analytics and the accuracy of decision making. <laughs> Lastly, we aim to build additional knowledge graphs that include detailed error cases and their solutions across different environments alongside open stack resources and services. This enhancement will strengthen our REC process, enabling more effective error analysis through a searchable database of related incidents. <clears throat> Lastly, I have summarized the, the advantages of our service. First, our approach improves upon traditional systems like BitTrees by using large legacy model and retriever augmented generation to effectively manage more complex and variable data. These advanced AI techniques provide a more thorough analysis, analysis of incidents, achieving a depth of insight that surpasses previous capabilities in identifying and resolving root causes. Second, by employing large length model, our methodology not only accelerates the root cause analysis process, but also ensures greater accuracy and speed than manual effort. The system enhances our ability to quickly interpret and analyze complex data, <laughs> allowing for rapid issue resolution and adaptation to the evolving complexity and scale of cloud infrastructure. <clears throat> we will now demonstrate our service. Not this one. <laughs> Uh, the first error case relates to quota issue we saw in the previous slide. Each project can create a maximum of 10 volumes, and currently we are using all 10, so the error occurred because we tried to create more volumes than the project allows. So she explained when we try to make a new volume using or uh, back up we could omit uh, this error and <coughs> and then we'll 
explain about the solution of this error. So, uh, yes, first solution, as you saw, we will try the first solution in using Horizon. So, we can approach the part in admin section and in system section and default section. We could see the cutout, volume cutout. So, we, and in this page, we can uh, increase the size of the volume cutout. And after the process, we could uh, try again to make new volume, and we could see log that we success. Then uh, we can see that the graph shows that the error was solved. Uh, and The second error case is about a floating IP issue. Basically, the private IP network or the subnet that's attached to our instance named test01 hasn't been added as an interface to the router. Because of this error, the instance can access the external network, which also means we can connect to floating IP on it. And so we will demonstrate about this issue. Without making a route, any router. We try to connect the floating IP to an instance. Oh, the error of course. And when we ask Ellen to about this error. Work of floating IP and the subnet that the instance used did not connect, so it of course the error. And in solution, it suggests uh, two solutions using CRI comments or Horizon dashboard. We will see. Uh, we will try this solution to solve the issue. Uh, firstly. As the solution said, I will make a new router and I will connect the uh, network that working IP use as a gateway. And then as a subnet that the test one instance will use as a interface to a router. Then we can success to attach the floating IP to an instance. After we solve the issue, We can oh. <coughs> see that our issue was solved and the error node was disappeared. <coughs> the last error case is about an issue with detaching volume. So when we try to detach the root device volume from broken instances, often that doesn't let us because some system limitations. 
So a good workaround might be to consider deleting the volume or doing something similar. We will demonstrate this issue about this. Uh, originally, the OpenStack didn't recommend to detach the root device volume from an instance. But so when we try to detach the volume from the instance, it says uh, it occurs the error. And LMS suggests the solution using a cylinder client in CLI com visit LI comments. So I will try this first solution in using cylinder client. Before we see the client, we first check our volume state. We can see that this volume is now attached in test 00 instance. And when I try to comment that Elena suggests, The volume is now detached from the instance, and we can now make a new instance using the volume detached now. is now attached to a new instance. And after resolving the issue, we can also check that the issue was successfully solved. Uh, so thank you for listening to our presentations.